Okay folks, welcome back to the Long Dark Wintermute. This is Chapter 2, Part 2 uh, of our Odyssey in Wintermute. And we are right here when we left off by the dam, still without a clue where this key is. Um, yes, I genuinely have no idea where this flaming key is. Part of me is wondering whether we can actually find another way around, but I don't think we can. I think if we go... If we go this way, we're going to end up essentially heading out of the transition area. Or at least we would do in uh, Sandbox Survival, whether we actually will in this game, I don't know. But we can't get in that way. I've got to be missing something. This key has got to be here somewhere. And I just don't know where it is. Um, I wasn't expecting this to be this difficult, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, we need to find the key. Oh no, we can't get in around the side either. So we've got to go in through that door, which means we've got to find the key. And I have genuinely got no idea where this key is. You would expect it to be here somewhere, wouldn't you? But it's not. It's not in the back of here. Under or around it, is it? Uh, well, we'll open the hood, but I don't think we're going to find a key in there. There's no uh, boot on this. Okay. Um, I am a bit of a loss. I'm still at a loss. I'm still at the same loss that I was at the end of the last video. I genuinely do not know where this key is. Um... I'm starting to worry that it's on something sort of further away from here. Um, maybe in the lookout. Forestry lookout? Would it be up there? It seems a bit daft. But if I can't find it here, I think I'm not going to have much choice but to try and get to forestry lookout. And see if it's up there. It would be really odd if it was. Well, there's an energy bar there that we previously missed. There is a locked locker here. Let's open this. Please be it. Oops. Please be in here. I think I can use this. Oh, big water bottle. Ah. I did actually miss these lockers. There it is. I did completely miss those lockers. So to anyone who is looking at screaming at the screen, you've not looked at those lockers. Well, there we are. <laughs> I didn't, and there was the key. Okay, so, after all that faff, we've now found the key. So, let's get ourselves inside the dam and potentially deal with the fluffy. I don't know. It's changed a lot, as you can see. There's this massive staging area here that traditionally has not been here. Uh, now, again, I don't know whether this appeared with Faithful Cartographer uh, because I didn't come to Mystery Lake after Faithful Cartographer. I'm going to shut the door, keep the walls out. It's in a bit of a mess. I reckon there is very high potential for Fluffy to be in here. This uh, is in a real mess. I find it hard to believe that this uh, has happened in the last sort of 10 days or however long we've been here since the event. So I would think that we are probably going to find a very abandoned dam with a fluffy in it. So we're going to try not to die. You have plenty to drink. There we go. Let's drink. Okay, so let's go inside then. I am quite nervous. I have to be honest because we know in Survival Sandbox we do come face to face with Fluffy the Wolf. The old trapper gets sick and dies. Okay. In survival sandbox mode, obviously Fluffy is in here. Fluffy the wolf. We're fully aware of that. Now this has completely changed to what we're used to. Can always use more food. Okay, I'm not going to be picking up newsprint this time. And I'm not going to bother picking up spares of things I already have either. There's no point because we're probably not going to be whoops, we're probably not going to be staying long term in any particular area. So 
I'm going to be playing slightly differently to how I usually play in Survival Sandbox. I'm not going to be picking up everything. I'm only going to pick up stuff that I need. So anything that I don't really need, I'm going to leave behind. Things that I will be picking up will be food. I assume that means I can break the handcart down. Yep. Uh, two that we don't need. Oh, we've triggered a cutscene. That sounds promising. Hmm. Looks like this thing isn't opening unless I can get the power working again. Maybe the Trapper knows more about it. I better find those first aid supplies and get back to it. Okay, so having triggered a cutscene, normally we can just walk straight through this door. But right now we can't. We can't get in unless we get some power back on. Obviously that leads to the turbine room that we are fully aware is normally occupied by a fluffy. But there's a lot more in here than there traditionally has been. And again, I don't know if this came with Faithful Cartographer. Wait a moment. There's a whole there's a whole different area here. There's a whole different section that I have never seen before. Things have changed quite a lot in the, in the Hydra Dam. That's the exit over there. There's a whole different section here that I have never seen before. I'm going to have to do some research here. I need to know if this appeared with Faithful Cartographer or not. Or whether this is brand new for Wintermute. There's a whole different section here. Well, let's go up. I'm excited and apprehensive because obviously I know. Well, there's something there that says aid station. There's a medical cabinet. This is completely different. This is. Here it is. Requires the key. Keys! That'll become a real nuisance in this game. Uh, right, so somewhere there is a key. We need to find the key. And we know from past experience that the key could be absolutely Thank anywhere. You. Okay, I am going to take books. Until I become very badly overweight, I am going to pick up books. Okay, I can't go through there. That's an elevator. So that leads to a whole new section that we've not previously... This is a whole new section to the Carter Hydra Dam that hasn't previously been here. I assume the elevator doesn't work. Can we open the... Uh, that requires the admin office key. Right, okay. So this is a whole... complex web. I strongly suspect the key that we need to the first aid cabinet is going to be in there. But we need a key to get in there. There's a note. The Pemmership is associated with us in a hurry. I left it in the cave, head back out from the dam, follow the river, look for a cave near the clearing with Hunter's Blind. Okay. Anything right about now. So that is where we are going to find the supply cache. Now again, I am saying I'm not going to be picking up everything. I am still going to be picking up food. Any food items that we see. And various fire starting materials as well. Although I'm not going to be quite so precious about it. Okay, there are some steel cabinets around, so let's just go through these steel cabinets. Particularly after the last one, where we completely ignored them and it turned out that's where the key was. Okay, we'll take the tools, we'll take the jeans. I may have to do a little bit of sorting, I'm not going to bother with that. The key is not going to be in the locker. Okay, so we've had a look around here so we know where the medical supplies are this gear is starting to slow me down I know it's, we've got quite a lot here we can carry on up 
We can keep going up. If it just leads to a fire door, which we can't open, so that is the end of that. So let's carry on back down then. And I think we're going to have to head... Okay, so that's a whole new section. There's a case here. Ah, oh, perfect. A flare. Okay, I'm going to take all of that. And I think as we go down into the turbine hall, I am going to uh, arm it. I'll take that tinder plug. Let's force this cabinet. Water, a bandage, okay. We are getting pretty encumbered at this point. We've got a toilet stall that we can't open. Uh, I'm not going to take the water from the toilets. And again, these were not here previously. I'm not going to take it. Oh, dead dude. There's the admin office key. Okay, so we've now got the admin office key. So let's go back up. So I'm keeping an eye open for fluffies. I'm also conscious that I'm burning up my storm lantern here. How much fuel I've got left in it. And I am pretty heavily laden. In fact, can I... Uh, let's just extinguish that for a second. How heavily encumbered am I? Oh, flipping heck. Okay, I'm pretty heavily encumbered. I think part of my issue here is that when I got to... Um, the cabin, I the tra Trapper's Homestead, before I set off, I didn't actually drop anything, so I was carrying the full load of stuff that I brought with me from Milton, and obviously that's quite a lot of stuff, and it's quite heavy. But on the flip side, we may need a lot of this food and things for the trapper. I'm going to drop the book because that's quite heavy. Um, I'm carrying lots of extra clothing. I need to try and sort my clothing load out. Okay, let's... There matches. That's flare. Storm lantern, but I haven't got much fuel. I didn't bring my big jerry can from Milton with lots of fuel in it which I should have done really okay so we're now in the admin office so we now need to try and find the first aid supply cabinet key which is we think gonna be in here somewhere I'm gonna shut that door because I don't want to be jumped by Fluffy I am still worried that Fluffy's gonna be in here as per survival sandbox. Okay, we were safe. Um, we've got obviously some desk drawers. If they've put this first aid cabinet key in the safe, that's pretty outstandingly stupid. Because if you need it in a hurry, it's not the best place for it, really. There we are. That's what we wanted. Okay, we've got another note here. Elevator maintenance note. Uh, the elevator is acting up again. We've checked the mechanicals and they seem fine. Must be glitchy electrical system. Keep an eye on it. It's really the only way to the turbine room. If the elevator gets stuck, it'll be a long walk before we can get back into the control room. Okay, well, it's a collectible, so we're going to take it. Bit of the bass there on the uh, side. Uh, right, well, we've got the key that we need. Obviously, there is a safe here and there are some lockers and things. The safe's going to take us time to crack. Uh, okay, we'll hang on to that. My storm lantern's about to run out of fuel. Have to, am I actually carrying any lantern fuel? I am actually carrying some lantern fuel, so let's... Let's refuel it with what we've got. Okay, so at least it's refueled with what we've got, but we haven't got very much. I should probably go through the safe and have a look if there's anything in there, but... Okay, before we go any further, let's extinguish this. And we'll just have a quick look at our clothing loadout. Worn ski jacket. Okay, decent light shell we're going to drop because it's not better than what we're wearing. Will sweater. 
Thick wool sweater, wool shirt, fit wool sweater. Okay, so we're going to wear that. And we're going to drop that. Uh, trouser wise, I think we are probably going to be better. Oh no, we're not. Okay, probably because they're worn. But we're going to drop them in that case. So that's got rid of some excess weight. Let's get our thing on it again. Let's get inside this medical locker. Okay, cool. So, our missions have been updated. We need to get back to the trapper before he dies. And I have a feeling this is where we are going to encounter Fluffy. I'm convinced that it's going to happen. I'm absolutely convinced that we are going to get jumped before we exit here. We are going to get jumped by Fluffy. I just know it's going to happen. So I'm trying to get out before <laughs> as quickly as possible. Uh, right, has this Storm Lantern got any fuel in it? Yes, it does. So let's take that one and let's put that one down. We'll let that one burn itself. Actually, no, because we've just refueled it, haven't we? Okay, let's hope that we can get back with, with everything we're carrying back to Trapper's Homestead. And we're going to have to do this in several different stages. Check in on that old trapper. Okay, so we are in the middle of the night. Let's extinguish our Storm Lantern. We can travel by moonlight. I really hope you guys can see this. Because of my concerns with Fluffy, which I don't know whether they're founded or not, I really don't, but I'm going to get the heck out of the Hydra Dam just to be on the safe side. I bet you guys can't see what's going on here. So let's light the Storm Lantern so there's at least some chance of you being able to see what's happening. But I think when the fuel runs out in this one, I'm going to ditch it uh, because of the weight. Unless I've already made it back. Okay. I'm going to spend the night in one of the tra one of the trailers. I don't suppose it really matters which one. They're both very similar to each other. So let's get inside one of the trailers. Doesn't matter if it doesn't have a bed in it because we have got our uh, lantern. The temperature in here is actually pretty good. Let's uh, extinguish the torch. There. Okay, so uh, we're actually okay for food and water, so we just need to jump into the bed. So we'll do eight hours, which will hopefully bring our fatigue back to a good level and get ourselves all sorted. We need to drink. I still keep coming into this menu. Don't need to, but I still keep doing it. Let's drink. Okay, let's do another four hours. Hopefully that will bring us through to daylight. And then we can make a break to head back towards Trapper's Homestead. Obviously, our first port of call... Well, the weather doesn't sound very nice out there, to be perfectly honest, but... I don't think we can hang around. I think we're going to have to get moving. But I think our first port of call is probably going to be to head back to that. Oh my goodness. Uh, right, we're not going anywhere. Let's jump back in. We are not going anywhere at the minute. I think that's fair to say. Um, just eat a little bit of what we've got. So let's sleep for... We'll do four hours. And see if this storm has passed. Since we don't wake up fully rested anymore, we just sleep through for the four hours. So the storm outside still seems really bad. Um, let's pass time a couple of hours. Okay, that sounds a bit better. So let's drink. And let's head back outside. And hopefully now it's a little bit nicer out here. That's better. Okay, so what kind of temperature are we looking at? It actually feels a weird freezing. 
That's kind of cool. Right, okay, let's get ourselves moving then. Uh, I think this time I'm going to follow the railway round. Things have changed a little bit on Mystery Lake. Oh, uh, no, let's not do that, actually. Let's come down this way. Let's not walk straight into a wolf. Okay, so what we're going to do, I think, is head back down here, over the river, through that cutting. That should put us back on the railway line on the other side, which will bring us uh, back towards camp office. Um, we've then got two options, and it does depend on our condition when we get to camp office and the weather when we get to camp office. If the weather is not too bad and our condition is pretty good, we will carry on. We know there is a supply cache... Um, in a cave if we follow the river but I'm not gonna worry too much about that right now I think I am gonna just keep going uh, and try and uh, get get ourselves up to uh, back to our trapper because we don't want to risk losing him because it does appear to be quite important now, whether there, is a, whether there is a risk that that might happen, I don't know. Whether if you're too slow, you take too long, he does actually die, and then you can't progress the game. Um, I don't really know. Uh, or whether it is uh, just a little bit of the story, and actually you can take as long as you want, and he will be alright. I don't know. I think the cave we're looking for is over there. The, it mentions Hunter's Blind. Hunter's Blind is a labelled location. Uh, in the long dark. In fact, I think we might even be heading towards it. I don't know this area of the map very well. I'm very heavily encumbered, so I can't sprint. I'm trying to make a slow walk back. In fact, I, I think I know the cave in question. I believe it's Alan's cave that it's referring to. I think that's what the cave is. Okay, so we're popping up here. And this should put us back on the railway line. I'm pretty sure it does. Yep, there we go. There's the railway line. And there is that little sort of electric or whatever it is locomotive that we came across. Okay, so we are trekking back down the line. We've got to keep our eyes open for wolves. We're very familiar with this. We're familiar with this route. We're familiar with this tactic that we are employing. The difference is, when we get to camp office, we usually ditch everything and go off on another raiding run somewhere else. But uh, we're obviously playing the game slightly differently now. So yes, I haven't really looked at any of the stuff. I've done an awful lot of filming. This is... I've, I've actually a track. I think this is the 16th video. Uh, in the Wintermute playthrough series, I've actually lost track slightly because I've filmed all of them in the, in the space of two days. Um, I actually did the vast majority of the filming yesterday. So today is Sunday, the 6th of August, and I did the bulk of the filming yesterday um, because I did a little bit of swapping. I had a, a photography trip planned for the Saturday yesterday, and I was planning on doing this on the Sunday along with some photo editing and other video editing and my girlfriend's video editing because we're, we're setting up a channel for her as well. Um, but I ended up switching things around because the weather forecast looked like it was going to be better weather-wise at the location I was photographing in, which is over in Wales. It's 110 miles away from where I am. Um, so I had a long drive to get there and it looked like the weather was going to be better today than it was yesterday. So I swapped everything around. So I actually ended up doing about 12 long dark videos yesterday um, there's a couple of flares here, I'm going to pick these up you can never have enough flares we will have a quick search of this plastic container as we're standing right next to it and we will take that and we will take that but we won't take those we're already pretty encumbered so we've got to be a bit careful but we don't want to waste anything potentially useful watch out because wolves do uh, hang out around here traditionally in the survival mode uh, yeah so uh, I ended up doing a bit of a swap so I, s I filmed about 12 of these videos yesterday simply because I was so excited about having the long dark winter mute finally that I really just wanted to crack on and play it 
um, and my girlfriend's away, so I had the day to myself. So I did that, uh, intermixed with various other household jobs and cleaning and all that that kind of stuff. So I kind of broke the day up by playing the Long Dark Winter Mute, and I filmed 12 videos yesterday. Um, in addition to ones I'd been filming in the early mornings before going to work. So I've done an awful lot of videoing of the Long Dark over the last three days. Uh, the game obviously launched on the 1st of August. I did the first video on the 1st of August in the evening. And I've done so many ever since then. So it's been a bit of an odyssey to play the game. Now my understanding is we obviously we have chapter 1 and chapter 2 released at the moment. There are three other chapters in this season of the Long Dark if you like. Um, they haven't been released yet and at the moment I don't know when they're going to be released. I need to go and have a look to see if there's any information. But I don't think there is about when they're going to be released. So um, I believe my understanding is that it's about 15 hours worth of gameplay uh, with the ones that have been released. And that does actually bear out because I reckon we've done about 7 hours or about half of that gameplay um, in chapter 1 and of course now we're in chapter 2 what's the weather conditions like? we're actually okay you know we're actually okay let's just eat some food I think I'm just gonna keep going you know I think I'm just gonna keep on tracking back because I don't think there's much point dropping into camp office I was just going to eat a fair chunk of, uh, of food there. I've got some venison that is raw that I could probably do with cooking, but I don't see much point at the moment with our condition being the way it is. Our temperature is really good. We're, we're, we're not fatigued. We're not thirsty. We're not hungry. We're actually in pretty good shape. So I think I'm going to just, just go straight back to Trapper's Homestead. Because in case this weather gets any worse and not waste any time by diverting unnecessarily since we're not using that as our main base if we end up leaving anything anywhere we're probably going to leave it in trappers homestead i suspect so i'm probably going to ditch some of my supplies into trappers homestead some of the, the less critical things that i don't really need to be carrying with me but i think i'm kind of learning that we're not going to be able to set up massive base camps and stash loads of stuff Something that was a little disappointing in many many ways from uh, Milton is that we had all those deer hides um, and we never got to use them. And I think this is part of the kind of thing about the game. I think I don't think there's really a time... I, I know I'm rushing back here in case the trapper dies, but I don't think there really is a time restriction as such. You can take as long as you want. And there are obviously hidden things in Milton that we didn't find and we can't go back now. Uh, we didn't find all those safety deposit keys. Um, we know that there were several other boxes that were locked and we didn't find the keys for them. And that was a side quest that we ultimately didn't complete. Uh, and we also know that there were some hidden supply caches around Milton. We only found one of them and I believe there were more than one. Uh, it was a mission, a side mission for us to find them. Which logically means there must have been more than one of them. Um, I don't know how many there are, um, it may have said, I can't remember, but we didn't do that either. So, in theory, we probably could have stayed there for a bit. And the Grey Mother uh, would give us more information if we gained very high trust levels with her, but to do that would have taken time to, to achieve. Um, I still don't think we'd have got the blueprints to make anything out of deer hide, but we would at least have you know, been able to do something. Ah, there's a dead wolf. <laughs> That'll be the one we fought off when we came down here. He had a very bad day because he encountered us. Okay. I don't think, to be perfectly honest, there is very much point harvesting this wolf. I might take the hide. Let's take the hide. Temperature's good, everything else is good, so we'll take the hide. There we go. Oh, and things have even cleared up while we've been doing that. Perfect. Okie dokie. Now, this is where I do tend to get a little bit... Of, you see, I'm already pretty heavily encumbered as well, so that's going to push me way over my carrying limit. So, I know in survival mode I would normally harvest that wolf completely and take it back to my base, but I'm not going to do that here because we are playing slightly differently. I'm already pretty heavily encumbered. I don't want to add even more carrying weight to what I've already got. 
as we head up here. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way. I tend to get a bit lost going over to Trapper's Homestead, but I think this is right. Uh, anyway, where was I? I was telling a story. Oh, yes, yeah, so we, I did a whole load of long dark filming yesterday, and then I went off and did my uh, photography trip today, and it absolutely chucked it down. It's the heaviest weather I've ever known. Uh, in the particular area where I was. Um, so the weather forecast was completely wrong. It said it was going to be the better day today. It really wasn't. It was absolutely horrendous. Really, really heavy rain. Everything got soaked. Uh, it wasn't actually too bad in the morning. Apparently, I was speaking to a... There was a, a, a Japanese uh, gentleman there who was visiting. Uh, he was taking photographs as well, and I was talking to him whilst we were waiting... Uh, I was up on the Talatin Railway, for any, in case you're wondering where I was, and um, I was uh, chatting to this Japanese uh, chap who was there. Uh, he was taking photographs as well, and he said in the morning it had actually been uh, the temperatures had been not too bad, and it had not been raining. Uh, but by the time I got there, and to be fair, by the time the train started to run, because I got there uh, just after the first train departed, so. Uh, Okay, we're in a bit of a situation here. I'm going to have to drop down the hill slightly. I'm heading into slightly dangerous territory because this is where the bear tends to hang out. I'm hoping the bear's not going to be around. I'm going to uh, head back up the hill. Well, it should drop us down to Trapper's Homestead. Uh, yeah, so apparently it was really nice in the morning, or at least it was dry. Uh, in the morning, but by the time the first train ran, by the time I got there, uh, the rain started, and it was quite light. And I did actually get a few photographs when it was raining, but it wasn't very heavy, so I wasn't particularly bothered about it. But then, whilst I was waiting uh, in the perfect position to get a photograph that I've been after for a very long time, but have never had the, the opportunity to properly capture, I was in the perfect position to do it, and the heavens opened. It absolutely chucked it down it got it it went dull i had to to crank the iso on my camera up so high um and everything the, the camera lens started to steam up um the, the photograph that i did eventually capture was just so noisy um because of the high iso it's really not very nice quality and uh the it was starting to steam up the lens was steaming up because there was so much water falling in it and things so it all just went hideously wrong um so i'm gonna have to go back and try that shot again and try and get a nice day i think if i can get a, a fairly sunny day it'll be a brilliant photograph but unfortunately i just can't seem to get nice sunny days the best day is actually to photograph around there is when it's rained but has then gone sunny oh we've got a we've got a supply bin anything in here absolutely nothing i suspect we're going to have a quest to put some stuff in there uh, fairly soon. Okay, so let's head back inside. I suspect we're going to get a cutscene. Hey. Old guy. Hey. Hey, you still with me? Shit. I'm too late. <coughs> Hey, you're still alive. Uh, what's your name? <coughs> Call me Jeremiah. I went to the dam. Found some supplies that should help. Oh, thanks. Because my insides hurt like hell. <sighs> what did you find? General meds. Painkillers, antibiotics, and what looks to be some old vials of morphine. <laughs> morphine? Easy. Hopefully your pain won't get that bad. You alone out here? to you. What the hell are you doing out here anyway? Hey, don't get excited. 
I'm just looking for someone. The only thing you should be looking for is a way to kill that bear. Bear? Yeah. He'll be back soon enough. And when he is, I'll be ready. <laughs> Ready for what? You can barely sit up. Uh, that bear is a man-killer. If we don't finish him off, no telling what savage fury he'll unleash. We? I, I'm just on my way through the area. That bear's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Listen, stranger. You aren't going anywhere. Like it or not, you and me have a problem in common. Neither of us is going to survive unless we kill that damn bear. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to go hunting this bear. Let's uh, see what the dialogue options are. What's the story with the bear? The story's real simple. That bear and me, we have unfinished business. Call it a trading kind. Every time we meet, we leave each other <laughs> leave a little of each other's blood. Pain. How's your pain? Everything hurts like hell, but I'll live. Want something stronger than painkillers? No, I yeah, I do, but I'll be okay. You seem pretty excited when I mention morphine. Stuff's dangerous, especially the old stuff. Addictive makes you feel like you're floating in a dream. That's very true. It is area. Can you tell me more about the area? The whole uh, is Mystery Lake, yes we know, uh, not much here, some old cabins here and there, railway passes through, campground around the lake's close for the season, mostly dead most of the year, you're alone out here pretty much, whole lines mostly abandoned now, a few scattered groups, there's no real industry, rest supply boat for the mainland, that's really the only life line for the few folks to still live on Great Bear, sounds like a pretty quiet place, just the way we like it, we, you're from the mainland, you understand, more options, damn, uh, seems hard to have a dam in such a Pristine piece of wilderness, yeah, the place has always been ruined by greed. Dam looks like it's been abandoned for a while. The big quake shut the nonsense down. Quake. Don't know anything. Guess I must have forgot. Railroads, coal, logging, mining, hydro. Whole line's basically a perfect wilderness. It's been slightly shot of energy over the past hundred years or so. What's kind of progress? People need shot, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it doesn't matter. Quake put an end to all of that and things are changing. You haven't noticed since the light's in the sky, the world is quiet now. It's very true. You're alone out here. I think we've already asked this question, haven't we? Yeah, I keep to myself, hunt a bit, fish in the summer, keep the track lines full. Once every couple of months, I head down to Rupert's Landing, trade for what I need. You have some way to go out here, like a radio. No, who do I need to talk to? Don't like people much. I don't. Well, that's fair enough. I think we've kind of figured that one out. Uh, per area, per more. I think we've pretty much covered Did everything. you see those lights in the sky a few nights ago? Yeah. I saw them. We see the northern lights this far up, but I've never seen anything quite like that. I'm a bush pilot. Those lights took my plane down. Nearly died in the crash. Now I need to find my... I had a passenger with me. Dead? I sure hope not. We were on our way to Perseverance Mills. You know it? Shit, nothing town few hours north. Sounds about right. Yeah, I know it. You're the first person I've seen in months. I haven't seen your friend. The phone lines are down. Nothing electrical seems to be working. You think it has something to do with the flash of light? Uh, could be. Wildlife's been acting weird too. The wolves, mostly. Hanging around more than usual. Like they're waiting. Waiting? For what? I don't know. But I have a bad feeling about it. Look. Maybe we can help each other. I don't know. I need to get out there and look for my friend. Well, I have an idea that might help you find who you're looking for. But with that bear out there, and me laid up in here, well... You're as good as dead. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you have in mind? Well... With that bear on the prowl, you'll never survive long enough to find your friend. 
and I can't do shit from in here. But I can guide you. You do what I say, and I'll keep you alive. And what's in it for you? Uh, we'll talk about that. But first, you need some protection. Hand me my rifle. shot you took hurt the rifle more than the bear. My rifle's done. Shit. Sorry. You have a backup? No. No backup. But I know where you might be able to fix it. Great. Where? Old railway yard. About a day's travel south. Along the tracks. There's a machine shop there. I used to trade for time on the tools. To keep my gear in order. Bush pilot like you should be able to handle them. I'll see what I can do. Listen. Stay along the tracks. Keep your eyes open for the old bear. If you see him, hide. And pray he doesn't pick up your scent. Don't get cocky. Or we'll both end up dead. Got it. Good luck, pilot. We will make a survivor out of you yet. Okay, so we have finished our conversation with Jeremiah and we now have a new mission. That mission is to find the railway maintenance yards and get into the repair shed. Now, I don't know where this railway maintenance yard is. I'm trying to think. I've been racking my brains all the way through that as to which way we've got to go. There's basically two ways that the railway goes. One is through the tunnel towards Forlorn Muskeg, and the other is through the transition area which goes to Coastal Highway. Um, there is a bit of a little rail yard at the top of Coastal Highway, um, and I really don't know whether that's where we've got to get. I, I don't know. I know there's been some extra things added in the game um, for story mode, so there could well be a, a railway maintenance yard that wasn't there before that now is. We shall find out. Uh, side crest, we've got supply caches in Mystery Lake. So I think what we need to do is we need to find this maintenance yard. Actually, do you know what? Let's have a look on the map. Because it has been showing us where things are. It might show us which way we've got to go. We are looking like we are heading to Forlorn Muskeg. That seems to be where we are going. That is the route that takes us to Forlorn Muskeg. Out of Mystery Lake to Forlorn Muscov, that seems to be where we're going. So that's where we're going to go next. But right now, I am going to say thank you very much for watching. And hopefully we'll be back very soon with some more on Dark. I'm uh, going to have a little break from making videos now. Uh, so I'm absolutely shattered. Uh, and I've got quite a lot of other video editing and things to do. But uh, by the time you see this, I will have caught back up again. And we shall be continuing with our on Dark Odyssey. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you again very very soon.